Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Jono. My apologies for not having posted for a while, but um, I won't bore you with the details, just life has been getting in the way, so sorry about that. Um, one of the reasons I haven't posted though is uh, quite a good one. I've been on holiday, uh, traveling abroad, uh, and I thought I'd do you a quick video um, based on some of the precautions that you might want to take or think about if you're taking your film and film cameras uh, on holiday with you, um, on a flight, etc., going abroad. So let's waste no time, let's take a look. So as I said, I was lucky enough to travel abroad recently. I went to Bulgaria. Normally when I'm traveling, I try and take uh, at least one film camera with me. Um, and indeed on this trip, I took a uh, couple of uh, film cameras, one 35 millimeter, one 120 medium format film camera, along with my digital SLR. And if I'm not uh, taking a flight, I just like to use something like this uh, to keep the uh, films that I'm taking in, got a couple of 35 millimeters in here, uh, just something to protect them while I'm traveling. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously they're ready for me when I want to put them in the camera. Uh, only trouble with this particular holder, it's not going to fit uh, 120 film because obviously that's much bigger. So I just tend to leave these in the boxes and, and put them in my, my padded uh, camera bag. So not too much of a problem. The difficulty comes when we go through uh, airport security. So if we're flying somewhere, we're going through airport security. I'm sure you're familiar. Uh, we need our luggage to be scanned. And in the old days, it was just an x-ray machine. Um, and in my personal experience, and it seems to be generally everybody's uh, experience, is that the old x-ray machines providing your films were sort of quite fast, um, sort of 800 ISO and above, um, that the x-ray wouldn't affect them. This is this is undeveloped films we're concerned about. Obviously, developed films, it won't matter. The, 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 the image has been fixed on. Uh, it's not going to make any difference. Um, but if you were concerned, you could ask for your film to be manually inspected. So the trick here is, is if you're going to travel through... Uh, uh, by way of a flight is to not preload your cameras with film if you're carrying film have it uh, like this separately um, and so that it can be manually inspected <clears throat> so it's not going to go in your um, hold luggage it'll be in your hand luggage uh, and when you get to security um, just ask them to manually uh, inspect your film rather than put it through a scanner um, the question now, though, obviously, is uh, the X-ray machines are kind of on the way out and they're being replaced instead with uh, CT scanners. CT scanners are fairly new uh, devices, um, not at every airport yet, but they are certainly in place at most major airports. Uh, so on my last trip, I was traveling from London Gatwick and I was flying um, to Borgas in Bulgaria. Uh, both airports were fitted with, uh, or had the, had the use of CT scanners. So what I basically do is, is I take these um, uh, films, uh, one, both 120 and, and 35 millimeter, and I store them uh, temporarily in a Ziploc bag, something like this, freezer bag, sandwich bag, whatever you want to call it, something whereby uh, security can easily uh, scan your films, or not scan your films rather, ask them to manually inspect your films. And the security guys at both ends, in both directions, seemed very happy to do this. Um, they can perform sort of non-destructive tests to check for um, narcotics and explosives and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they're happy that security is not being compromised and you don't end up with destroyed, uh, undeveloped film. Um, the debate does seem to be whether or not these CT scans, you know, uh, how they affect the film, if they're going to affect the film, uh, does it matter what speed the film is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, you know, the last thing we guys want as a photographer is to basically uh, get to a destination and unwittingly be loading our cameras with uh, pre-destroyed film and obviously, you know, your holiday snaps or your uh, professional uh, images that you took whilst away um, are, are completely useless. And, and destroyed so it's just a tip for you use hand luggage uh, keep the films in hand luggage 
store them in a plastic bag like so, a little Ziploc bag, have it in a sort of side pocket that you can easily get at and ask the security guys to manually check the films for you. Don't preload your cameras because obviously um, they will not be able to be manually checked. They're going to have to go through whatever scanning machine is at the airport. Other than that, enjoy your trips and uh, enjoy taking photographs in some exotic locations. There you go. I hope that was uh, useful information to you. Like I say, a quick video. Another one coming out very, very soon. Um, thanks again for all your support. I really do appreciate it. If you can like, comment, share, and or above all, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, it would be really appreciated. Until next time, take care of yourselves.